so now in this video now we'll try to go and do that how to insert value in that collections so first thing i open that mongodb compass and i put that connect so it's got now connection established so right now you can see that a student is there that last time a school and a student we created and right now no values are there so now first thing we'll try to do here from query and then we can do through ui as well to insert value okay so now first thing we need to use okay a school so that we can switch to a school db and now then we can try to do that insert okay so now to insert that value what we need to do to do the db dot collection name so our collection name is a student okay so you can see it's came a student dot now we need to put that what we going to do insert so we have insert one insert many but right now i will go and explain insert one after that i will insert insert many also i will explain so insert one now inside this one in Said that we need to start that curly bracket. Now we need to specify that which all value we wanted to store. So suppose right now I pass that name and I pass it Raptor. Okay. Then I will pass address. Okay. In address, I will pass Bangalore. And I will pass class as well. Suppose I pass as class as fifth. Okay. And now I will hit that enter. So we can see that it's showing that acknowledgement through one object ID got created. Okay. And if I click on that find, so it will basically do that refresh. So we can see that one got created and ID got created by default. Okay. Then name, address and class. These three got created. So now suppose now this time I wanted to create more than one record I wanted to insert. So how we can do so again same way db dot collection name so student. Okay, we can create more than one collection also that we can see later for right now we can understand that basic things. So now I will this time I will go with insert many. Okay. So in insert many now we need to pass as an array. So what I did, I started that array and then what I will do, I will copy this name. Okay. And I will paste it here. Then I will put one more comma. And then I will paste it here. So I will paste it. I will just put one. One. And in place of five, I will put one. Adapter two, Bangalore two. And this class also, I will make it two. Okay, and now if I put that hit enter, you can see now two object ID got created and acknowledgement is true. So it's successfully created two. So if you can see this object ID first one also, you if you can see that this object ID is only coming in ID section that automatically going created. So if I click again or else I can do this one refresh or click on find so now you can see three got created so we can see in this tabular format so object id name is string address is string class in 32 so you can see whatever we put that it's got created successfully okay so this is that one way we can create it and other way is that now we can import also but right now i will go and try to insert one record okay so now i will go and put that here name Okay, I need to pass it here. Name. Wait a minute. I need to pass in double bracket. Name. Column. And then I will pass it. Suppose again I will pass Raptor only. Raptor 3 all the 3 is there. So I pass that. So now we can insert only one name also and rest all will be blank. So now I will put that hit enter. So now you can see one now got created Raptor 3 with no address and no class details. Okay. So in this way, 
we can insert it multiple records and whatever we wanted we can do it so suppose right now i will go ahead and create one more okay i'll put it here and then name cool raptor or this time i will create subject I need to put in double bracket. Okay. I'm creating one new column and then I will pass it as a math. Okay. Match I pass. Math. And now I will click, click on insert. So you can see what it's going to do. Okay. It's created now one more. Uh, column with subject string and for all those existing field it's created no value and for this one it's created with math okay and this is also type of a string so in this way if we wanted to next suppose first insert only we needed three columns we created in that way next time we need more than that to insert it then we can create it anytime how we wanted to store it okay so this is that advantage of doing uh, in mongo how many things we wanted we can store it in json format basically so if you can see it's basically displaying in this way or you can put it here to see that okay i hope you like this video now in next video we'll try to understand that update and delete and other things